Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. These are the new video sessions on HTML, JavaScript and CSS. In this video sessions, it is a first video on web terminology. Before we are entering into web environment, first we must know some kind of terms which are frequently using in the web environment area. Web is passion, web is vast, web is everything, no web, no future. Every step inserted and integrated with the web environment. In that web environment, these are the terms every second we are using. As a programmer, as a designer, as a developer, as any kind of position in IT industry, these are the terms everyday life we are using. Write web, everyday we are calling. Almost all without using the term web, the day is unable to finish. What is web? Collection of electronic resources is called web. Web is everything. So, this web concept first time implemented by T. Berners-Lee. He is the father of web environment. In 1989, first time he implemented the concept of web. W3C, World Wide Web Consortium. It is a popular organization which maintains web standards. Compulsory, we must follow W3C rules. Consortium, meaning is a partnership. A group of people available in this organization, nearly 400 plus members available. A few well-known members are Microsoft, IBM, Apple, Sun Microsystems, Facebook, etc. Like this different category MNC companies available in this W3C organization. It was founded in 1994 by Tim Berners-Lee. W3C main duty is maintain web standards. Visit official website w3c.org for more and better information. Third one, network. In common life, every day we are using this one. Collection of computers interlinked together to exchange resources is called a network. First network in the web environment or in the IT industry, ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. It is a first network developed between two computers. In this network, user protocol is FTP. FTP initially popularly known as file transfer program, not a protocol. Later, program converted as a protocol because every protocol is a type of a program. That is network definition. Simply, collection of computers interlinked together to exchange resources each other. And fourth terminology, almost all everything, internet, international network. It was developed by Wint Cerf, an American computer scientist. He is a father of internet. And some people says internet meaning collection of TCP by IP communications protocols. Here TCP transmission control protocol, IP internet protocol. So connectivity between computers in a network, TCP representing connectivity between networks, IP representing. So collection of TCP by IP communications protocols is called internet. Next one is email, electronic mail services, first time implemented by an American and after first webmail developed by an Indian. The first webmail name is called hotmail.com. It was developed by Sabir Bhatia from Chandigarh with an American. The American name is called Jack Smith. These both two members implemented electronic mail services. It is completely working based on SMTP and MIME. But webmail first developed by an Indian, not electronic mail system. Electronic mail system, an American. And SMTP, what is simple mail transfer protocol? It is taking care of delivering mails between different domains. 
மைம் மல்டி பர்பஸ் இன்டர்நெட் மெயில் எக்ஸ்டென்ஷன்ஸ் இட் ஈஸ் டேக்கிங் கேர் ஆஃப் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபரிங் டிஃபரெண்ட் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டேட்டா த்ரூ எலக்ட்ரானிக் மெயில் சர்வீசஸ் and ftp file transfer program later converted as a protocol it is a kind of service to transfer files between intra and internet connected computers telnet telecommunications network or telephone network it is used to connect computers telnet is nothing but a simple way you have a client means a local host there is a server remote host we are connecting to remote host with the help of local host that helper is called telnet telecommunications network so with the help of this we are log in into remote system with the help of local host http and https one is hypertext transfer protocol means it is taking html pages and it is rendering html pages and another one is it is transferring s means not security exactly it is s means ssl secure sockets layer so both are doing the same duty but https every request converting into encrypted format more secured format more cipher text format that is the meaning of https so both doing taking request and giving response type next one is mobile telecommunications in the latest era mobile telecommunications are rapidly growing in that rapid environment there are the different generations available every generation there is a kind of speciality 1g g for generation first generation telecommunications available completely analog based telecommunications second generation completely digital based generations 3g completely related to multimedia services 4g long term evolution without the help of cable broadband services speed we can enjoy in 4g 5g international mobile telecommunications perfectly advanced 6g it is in future but here available air fiber technology without recharging a mobile with the power or with a card recharging also 6g telecommunications available perfectly it is advanced level so finally these are the different generations of telecommunications right now we are enjoying 4g first area means first era 4g having different eras we are enjoying first era 4g i said already very clearly that is multimedia services 3g and 4g is nothing but long term evolution lte that is right now currently going on and next one is blog almost in every day life commonly we are hearing the blog what is blog blog is nothing but it is a web page or a website we are daily updating every updated information or updated kind of articles first displays for example how this first displays in blog actually it is following one kind of order that is only reverse chronological order here reverse chronological means what latest updated first displays first updated last displays for example we can try to observe what is blog so i am maintaining one blog html5 css3 blogspot.in today morning all i updated my blog that updated article displays first imagine three months back i updated it displays maybe somewhere else so that means latest post first displays first post last displays this is called reverse chronological order z to a chronological a to z so this pattern you can you should remember so finally what is blog blog is nothing but a web page or a website daily updating a web page or a website here every updation every post displays in reverse chronological order next one is forum forum is nothing but it is a kind of discussion online discussion website it is a message board a group of people holding their messages and converted 
conversion is nothing but a group of people doing exchanging each other so there are the number of forums available forum is free of cost as well as blog also free of cost next one add-ons additional feature to the web browser so add on best example any toolbar commonly ebay toolbar google toolbars games toolbars all these are comes under add on the best example of add on is add blocker nowadays we are installing in the browser it is come it comes under add on next one plugin it is a kind of software additional software to the web browser best example of the plugin is flash player adobe pdf reader these are the two best example for the plugins next one web page web page is nothing but the page which is able to open with the help of web browser the page which is developed on html is called a web page these web pages are classified into two types one is a static web page another one is a dynamic web page what is a static web page a page where a user unable to interact directly with the web page is called static web page it is completely developed on html and css and second one is called dynamic web page these pages a user can able to directly interact with these web pages these pages developed on html css and javascript and next one is website commonly we are calling collection of web pages is called website again website is classified into two types one is a static website another one is a dynamic website for example a website developed only on client level technologies we are calling static website a website developed client and server side technologies is called dynamic website so websites are classified into two types web pages are classified into two types this is completely a basic kind of terminology whatever in this video session available every term is valuable and regarding this more information i need to show practically also in our daily video sessions right those terminologies whatever the terminologies explain to you i am showing on the screen hands on and one by one just observe team berners lee is a father of web and he is sir team berners lee popularly known as and who developed actually html concept and who developed the concept of web environment who is the founder of w3c and he is team berners lee and another word i said about wint surf american computer scientist related to father of internet environment and who developed actually internet concept he is the windsor father of internet and different different other definitions i made but i said definition about webmail first webmail is hotmail.com developed by sabir bhatia and sabir bhatia is the father of hotmail right and email first webmail is hotmail.com it was developed by an indian sabir bhatia and i said these three names mail in the web environment father of web is team berners lee father of internet is wint surf and father of hotmail is sabir bhatia so these are the terms i explained already and when we are going to html environment those terms you can take but https meaning already i said ssl secure sockets layer whenever you are clicking the lock symbol the related information it is showing you can also observe by going to site settings and otherwise details also you can click and regarding web browsers also when you are going to browse and on your net environment means internet environment browser is the major role how this browser is working an introduction to that let me explain one by one related to browser and i am taking to you the starting part of html and these terminologies very helpful to you to work with the html environment so i am starting initial stage onwards html so before i am entering into after these terminologies html environment let me discuss about what is a web browser and how the browser is functioning browser is client side lightweight software it takes http request from client to server 
it renders HTTP response from server to client is called a browser. The browser information we want to view perfectly means I implemented already one architecture very clearly. Client, server, database. First client level there is a browser available. Once you are entering into client level browser, just entered any URL. It is not a matter of Yahoo or Google or Gmail, Naresh IT. It is a, that is not, not the matter of what URL. You entered some URL. It is not the matter of what browser, any kind of browser. So, once you entered as a user, you typed and immediately the request is coming from client to server. The request we are calling as HTTP request. Once the request is coming from client to server, server level technologies are taking care of the request and server level technologies are taking. ASP, JSP, PHP, CGA, these kind of technologies are taking this request and checking this request really available or not using concerned database drivers inside the database the request available or not. Yes, once the request available or not available, not available, we are getting the related error message. Available and both times we are getting HTTP response, either success or failure. So, once available and the response is displaying in HTML format. So, finally, how this three tier architecture is perfectly working, presentation layer, business logic layer, data access layer. So, my all technologies HTML, HTML5, CSS, CSS3, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, AngularJS, etc. All these are client level technologies, .NET, Java, PHP, CG, all these things are server level technologies. Backend means storage technologies, all these are. So, my browser available, client side. So, client side request is coming from client to, to server, server to the concern DB. Again, response from server to client. This is completely browser duty. So, what is a web browser? Browser is client side lightweight software. It takes HTTP request from client to server, comma, it renders HTTP response from server to client. It is what exactly web browser. And in this web browser, different different browsers are there now in the market. A few web browsers which we are using major part in the industry, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Mini Opera or Opera, Apple Safari, like this number of web browsers available. Thank you for watching my videos. Catch me for more videos on youtube.com slash Naresh IT.